Top of the morning, top of the morning. How is everyone doing today? Today is 7-11-23. And I woke up super early today. And I don't know why. Maybe I went to bed a little early. I think around um, maybe like 11, 11, 15. I was out. That's early, I guess. I don't know. That ain't even early, is it? No. Nah. <laughs> Anyways, top of the morning. Um, thank God for the wake up. Um, God bless everyone around me, around you, and praying for good health, uh, longevity, and love all around you. Thanks for tuning in. This is your boy. Louis to the A Lopez, and we're talking cancer, my journey, my way. Welcome to another episode. Yeah, we're here. I don't know what they were like 50 something episodes in, and and it feels good. It feels good to to come on here and talk to you and vent uh on just me my prognosis um how I'm dealing with things uh for those that tune in and just kind of just stay abreast of of what's happening um you know not much has changed at this particular point for me um I was supposed to have my port place today. I don't know if I told you guys that. Might have missed it, you know, talking about other things. But um, I actually canceled that appointment. Um, I canceled that appointment because I don't know exactly um, how this is all going to play out, you know, from a financial standpoint um taking off work is a hard thing to do you know so um and not only that but the application process for disability and things like that they want me to actually stop working and for about five months to the application process is approved like what you know, that just makes no sense. And that's not even guaranteed for it to be approved. I, who does that? And plus, they want me to start chemo like on Wednesday. Okay. Well, that means man down. I need this stuff now. You know what I mean? I need some sort of income now. Just to help out the family. So right now, I canceled my port. Um, for the time being to like a figure, uh, something else out, you know, no big deal. It is what it is. I mean, I feel great at the moment. So, uh, we're just going to keep it pushing and keep on doing what I'm doing, um, with my supplements, with everything else, you know, mushrooms, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I mean, you have to laugh at this stuff, right? Because, you know, you know, we're, we're sitting here and we're fighting and we're fighting. Um, but it, it is a, it is a, an inevitable situation. The outcome there that is, is inevitable, you know, so we're fighting and fighting for now to, you know, try to have as long of the life as we can. But, you know, life is inevitable, you know, at some point, right? It comes to an end. So, um, I just try to live life and live it to the fullest. Yesterday, I spent all day at the park with the little one, like all day. We went to like three different parks and ate lunch and all of that. And we just had a good time. She was out by like seven o'clock. Done. Done. And she's still asleep now. You know? So, to say the least, 
It was a good day. So, I mean, that's all I really try to do. So I'm really not trying to focus too much, even though, like, uh, you know, I had the, the, the thing planned for today. You know what? I mean, it is what it is. I, you know, I got to keep moving. Um, I think for me, that's what really matters, the quality of the time. At the end of the day is what's important. Quality of time. Is what is important at this particular point in my life and putting putting the words uh the c word um just behind me you know and although i come on to the podcast like i said every day and give you an update on how i'm feeling how i'm doing and and whatnot um like i said this is my journey and it's my way so um I'm just continuing to just be me and and continue to uh, be a lover of life, you know. So um, what more can we ask for, right? That part's not just about me. I think that's something that everyone should be um, should be doing, trying to to laugh as much as possible, find the small, just find the humor in things, even in bad situations, you know? I think this is key to the quality. Um, I mean, figure this. I mean, would you like to have 20 years of laughing and smiling? Or would you rather have 90 years of misery? Right? It's about quality of time. You know, so I took that time yesterday. Since I had the day off, it was my Sunday. And I chose to hang out with the little one. The oldest one is at camp currently. I dropped her off early in the morning. Um, and so she's enjoying camp with the with her peers. And... So I had the day, you know, the wife went off to work and I had the day just to kind of have a father daughter day with just one of them. And, you know, we had a ball, you know, we were swinging and we were sliding. Yeah, I got on the slide. I did. I did all that. Why not? You know, shoot. Sometimes you got to be a kid again. And we laughed and we smiled and we hung out and she fell and, you know. And we, you know, we try to play a little bit of basketball and played a little bit of soccer and, you know, things like that. I mean, I think it was a, I think it was a successful day. And as she put it, she was like, Dad, I think every time you have a day off, we should go to a lot of parks. She's a, <laughs> she's becoming a pretty good uh, negotiator, by the way. But life is good. You know, I am looking into some other things. You know, um, I have looked into, you know, different methods, uh, different um, different people. Um, I have looked into this thing called the, um, the Brzezinski Clinic out in Texas. And they actually um, did get back to me. Um, but they are considered a program that is completely out of network. That means out of pocket. Out of pocket. Now, when I say out of pocket, I mean, whoo. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be saved. 
<laughs> no, but they got some really uh, cutting edge technology, and um, you know, yeah, I want it. I want it bad. You know, but they talking like anywhere from, and they, I'm not just talking just like this is like, uh, like one treatment at a time type deal. You know what I mean? Like anywhere from like seven to seven D or seven T grand at a time. You know what? I, man, that doesn't sound cool to me. Like why? I get it. I get it. It's a some money making business, big pharma. Um, but sheesh, I'm just trying to live like everybody else, man. Like, I swear, man, if I had like, if I had like money like um, Elon Musk or something like that, man, I, I sure was hell be trying to save some people, you know, paying people's rent, paying people's debt, man, for sure. Anyway, but, yeah, so I've been looking into those things. I, you know, I do do a lot of research on you know, food, and, you know, I think that's the main the main thing um, for me because I could control that. Um, the, the type of food that I put into my system is, is, is crucial, especially if I am not able to go to these places to make an attempt at a at a at a better way of treating cancer um they do use uh cutting edge technology um what's it called anti neoplastin um which is a a less harsh, less evasive type of treatment, uh, less side effects, practically no side effects, um, that they, they have a problem, um, between them and the FDA. So, I mean, Hey, whatever it is that they got going on, I don't know, but he has proven methods and, and if you have the money to go get it, hey, let me turn you on to the Brzezinski Clinic in Houston, Texas, right? I mean, hey, everybody's in a different situation. Everybody's in a different uh, place. Um, but for me, at this particular point, I mean, I'm going to continue looking to see how I could maneuver something. Who knows? Maybe I'll hit the lottery or something and they be able to go. You never know. Um, but... In the meantime, I got to control the things that I can't control. And that is my eating. That's huge. You know, being able to consistently and constantly um, provide my body with nutrients um, and antioxidants, um, all the things that um, are going to help continue the fight or slow down uh, the fight eating, uh, cancer fighting, uh, foods that are put on the earth by God himself. You know what I mean? So I need to continue doing that, figuring out how to, uh, you know, rejuvenate my stem cell things that are in my control, like the stem cell patches that are in my control. I can, can do this. It's natural, no side effects whatsoever that I've had. Um, and, and so far I could say that, Hey, I, I feel good. I mean, um, and you know, even though I didn't sleep a long time. I feel good. I feel rested. So does that mean that I'm just getting a deeper sleep? 
You know what I mean? So something is happening here. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I feel like I do have more energy. Um, but then again, I'm also taking the mushrooms and I'm taking everything I can. So um, I am taking the mushroom coffee and all of these things help with focus. They help with um, de-stress, de-stressing me um, and things like that. So um, I'm very, very grateful um, for the things that I'm able to do at this particular point. Um, I don't have any pain at this particular point. So that's a good thing. Um, so I'm going to continue living life with quality. Try it. And try to laugh off the things that are frustrating you. Stop for a second. Look at it. And laugh. I mean, seriously, though. I mean, like, you know, we have to do better. Uh, with our a way with the way that we um, deal with stress, count to ten, count to twenty, something. I'll do some yoga, meditation, all of that. You know, but first things first is always thank God for breathing life into you every day. That is um, huge. And I it was a trip because I said something yesterday and I was like, wow, that was, you know, that's a lot. That was deep. And I said, what did I say? I said, "How did, I'm trying to think about how I said it. I'm not thinking about what I said. I'm thinking about how I said it. I said, you got to be thankful for God because the job that he has and breathing life into millions and millions and millions of people every day, not just people, animals, plants, you know what I mean? You name it. He's breathing life to them every day, millions It's a ridiculous number. Small animals, large animals, insects. Us. If that isn't a miracle, I don't know what is. Anyways, think about that. God's miracle is happening around us every single day. And it becomes so routine that we just pass it by. Enjoy it. Give these things a hug. I use this platform to help just guide a better way of thinking. Even though the situation you may be in might seem dim, dismal. It's not that dismal. If you look at what's around you and just give it a hug and love it. There's so much to be grateful for. So enjoy the time that you have and enjoy it with quality. That's me. I'm out. Peace, love, one.